A is level, circular measure. Exam preparation questions, part one. Before you start with this videos, first go to the textbook, the grade 12 AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success and work through the pages 141 to 151 to recap the basics. Okay, now this is basically the two most important formulas is the length of an arc and the area of a sector. Okay, now very important, it is in radians. So when you do this examples, your calculator will be most of the time on radians. Just take note. So for the length of an arc, if you look here, it's just the radius times the angle. And for the area of that sector, so the length of the arc will be that, and say it's the area of the sector, it will be a half, and then it's the radius squared, multiply the angle, and very important, the angle must be in radians. Okay, but let's <clears throat> just start with an example. Let's look at the first example. The diagram shows a sector AOB, so AOB, which is part of a circle with center O, the radius is 6 centimeters, and with angle AOB, AOB is 0 0.8 radians. The point C on OB is such that AC is perpendicular to OB, so there forms a 90 degree angle. The arc CD, there is another arc, is part of a circle with center also O. Okay, I think there's just a typing error also. With, with center O. Okay, I think it's, it is there. With center O, where D lies on OA. Find the area of the shaded region. I will just check. I think that comma must just be out. Okay. But let's start with this question. Now, very important. You must know, you must see that, okay, let's just do, if this one is 6, then this one is also radii, radii are equal, then that will also be 6. That's very important. Now, in triangle AOC, AOC, now, first that I'm going to do is I'm going to use that angle and I want to first get, because I don't know this, I don't know this distance. Can I show you? I'm first going to get this distance, OC. Now, how do I do that? I'm just going to make use of this triangle. Do you see the triangle there? So I'm going to say cos because then it's adjacent. I have the hypotenuse, remember that's the radius 6. So cos of angle AOC is OC adjacent over hypotenuse. And now I'm just going to cross multiply. I press it on my calculator. Make sure your calculator is on radians. Okay. And then now, because it's an in-between answer, I approximate the answer to at least four or five significant figures. Okay. So five, then I'm safe. So I'm just writing the full calculator's display and then five significant figures. And now I'm going to get <clears throat> the shaded region. So triangle AOC, AOC. Now, if I, if I find the, the triangle, I'm just going to use um, trigonometry, the sine formula, because I have the two sides now. So don't forget, this blue one is 4. 0.1802. Keep that for five significant figures. Okay. And then sin zero minus and then sector DOC. Let's just find it. Uh, so DOC. I have again that side. So it's half and then that blue side squared multiply the angle. And then again my full calculator display and then the final answer. I can approximate to three significant 
figures. Not so difficult. So I make use of a bit of trigonometry, um, the sign, so that I just work out the area of that triangle, and then just basically, and then I just use trigonometry also to just find that side OC. Very basic. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do just try now one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finish. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit smaller so that I can just have space to write. Okay. So, let's start. In the diagram, CXD. Okay, let's just see. CXD. Do you see that? Can I show you there? CXD is a semicircle, very important, of radius 7. So do you see the radius of the circle there? It's 7. With center A. Okay. And di diameter CD. Okay, I can see that is a semicircle. The straight line, uh, YABX, YABX, is perpendicular to CD. Very important that you just notice there's a 90 degree. And the arc CAD, can I just show you? There is the R, C, Y, D, Y, okay. Uh, D is part of the circle with center B. So basically, can I just show you, there is the sector. Do you see that? Okay. Uh, and radius, and the radius of that sector is 8. Find the total area of the region enclosed by the two. So they want, basically, if I can just show you here, they want the area of this. Okay, so let's just start. Now, my plan of action is that I'm going to work out the area of the green. Then I'm going to work out the area of, of this red one. And then I'm going to work out the area of this triangle. So basically from that red one, I want to just subtract that blue triangle. So it will be that sector minus the triangle so that I'm left just with just that part. Do you see? And then also the area of the half circle. That's going to be my plan. Let's just start doing. So I think we can start with the, the green one. So I'm going to say the area of the half circle. Okay. Uh, and that will be CXD, CXD, and that's going to be a half, remember your area formula, uh, 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 just a circle, a uh, circle is pi r squared, so it's a half pi r squared, so it's a half, take 3,142, it's going to work, and then the radius, don't forget that the radius was 7, and don't square and again, make it at least to five of a significant figure. So if I get, I get 76.979. It's actually good to first write the full calculator display if you maybe want to go back. So I'm just quickly going to test 3.142 times 7 times 7. Uh, no, it was actually exact. Okay, on that. Then I'm going to find... Okay, now I don't have this angle. Do you see? Okay, not that. But I can use it, do it because of that 90 degrees there. If I want to find this angle, then I can call this going to be my opposite side. Do you see? And this is my hypotenuse. So I'm going to use just normal trigonometry. So let's just do it. So angle CBA. And that is going to be sin, and we can call it x. Okay, so just put it in your sketch then. See, sin x equals uh, opposite 7 over hypotenuse 8. Then press it on your calculator, and I get that x is equal to, and now I'm just going to say um, shift, I just want to see it, sin bracket, 7 divide 8, close the bracket, equal. So it's 
3-5-8-1-7. Now, remember it's only that. I want both, and that's why I keep it. So, if I want to find angle CBD, so angle CBD will be 2 times X, and that's 2 times 1.0. 0654 oh, ta, ta, ta. I'm just keeping it on my calculator I times 2 and now okay if I want the full calculator display it's just to get used to that it's just helping you in the exams maybe sometimes getting an a mark so but if I approximate and again let's approximate it to at least um, four significant figures so five so 2.13 um oh nine i think five one two three four five that will be in order and remember it's in radians remember that your calculator must be in radians okay so basically now i'm going to say the area of the sector now i'm going to the red so the area of sector and now, don't forget, it's first the whole sector. So, C, okay, well, I'm going to uh, B, C, B, C, Y, D. And don't forget the formula, it's a half R squared theta. So, it's a half, and now what is R? Don't forget, my R is now 8. And you can use this one. 2.1309 okay then it's going to it will keep that um, decimals so if I'm going to do that so it's 0 0.5 times 8 times 8 times 2.1309 and that's going to be 68.1888 okay and now 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 I'm just must get rid of that blue triangle but before I can do that, I must just get this side. Do you see? I have the 7, the 8, but I'm not having this AB. Do you see? So if I want to get AB, I'm just moving it up. So in, okay, we can say in triangle and what, oh, now my picture is gone. Uh, you can see ABC. It's always good to... To write it very clear, especially if you have to go back. So in triangle ABC, I'm going to say, so if I want to find AB, it's Pythagoras theorem. So I'm just, it's AB square equals this square plus this square or minus this square. But I'm just going to keep it from the beginning and say, I take the square root on the other side. So 64 minus 49, I could have, let me just draw the. Let me rather just say it was the 8 square minus the 7 square. I just want to put that in. So it was the 64 minus the 49 and leave it like this. So therefore AB is, and don't approximate because <clears throat> it's easy to fill in the square root of 50. So the area <clears throat> of triangle ABC is just that half base times the height. <clears throat> and in this case, the base is going to be that square root 15. Okay. And then times the height. Can I, can I just go to this picture? So it was the base, you see, times the height. So times that 7. Times 7. <clears throat> and if I do that, and again... I'm just going to first get my first full calculator display because I'm going to multiply with 2. So 5, 5, 5, 4, 4, 1, 7, 1. And now I'm going to remember, can I just show you again? My sketch is just gone. It's just a half, but I must still get that other half also. But it's exactly it's similar. So therefore, area... CBD equals 2 times that 13 point. You have it still on your calculator, so you can just keep on. And that, if I approximate, 
27 point and again I do my five and I will be safe okay and now <clears throat> the area of CAD can I just show you again CAD so basically it's that whole sector I just want to show you it's that sector and I subtract the triangle just to get that red part are you with me it's actually not difficult but quite a long sum so area of C Y D it's going to be and can I just show you it's going to be that do you see there minus this one there okay and I'm just writing it now so it's 68.1888 minus 27.1109 and that's 41.0779 okay and now don't forget that's only the red part and I'm going to go just for finals it's only that red part there but now I must still add the green half circle and so therefore and I'm going to end in white total area and that's going to be my green part and what was my green part? The 76.979 plus my red part, and that was my 41.0779, and that is giving me an answer of 118.0569. And if I approximate to three significant figures, uh, I will get 100 and 18 and it's centimeters squared because the whole question you can leave out the units and although you will not get marks for the units in mathematics it's good to just end with the unit it's just I think a bit more formal okay and that is the first question a final note most of the videos on this channel feature examples from the y equals mx plus c to success mathematics books. Try your best to purchase your own hard copy from one of the following bookshops. This will enable you to highlight and make personal notes in your own textbook. And remember, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Best of luck.